All right, here we go. Hey, what's going on, guys? If you're new here, my name is Vlad. I started this channel about five years ago. It's called Dev Inside You. The purpose of it is to improve the developer inside you and me. It's basically programming tutorials, mostly about Scala. Uh, usually, if you poke around my channel, the production quality is a bit higher. My videos are usually scripted, so I know exactly what to say. This is not the case today. Uh, I only made one video like this before. Uh, the topic is completely different, so it's all good. Uh, because in that one, I basically implied that it might be the end of the channel. This video has nothing to do with that, okay? It's just that uh, something happened, and I just couldn't stop thinking about it, and so I just, you know, went out to the park to record this video. All right, so today is Tuesday, December 13th, I believe, 2022. And... Uh, just a couple of days ago, I recorded a video, a third video about WSL, and it is going to come out uh, this weekend. As already mentioned, most videos, most of my videos are, you know, scripted, they're scheduled, they're prepared, you know, have a video editor who edits them. This one is not like this. So in that video, I said that I am a full-time dev and only a part-time content creator. And therefore, at least for now, uh, as opposed to most content creators out there, I don't do videos about trending topics. Instead, I make videos about what I think you guys need to watch as opposed to what you want to watch. If you want to become a better programmer, uh, obviously it's also videos that interest me. Uh, so I study things and I, and I just share with them. But the whole world right now is talking about ChatGPT3. In fact, in that video, I literally said this as an example. So what happened today is that I wake up and uh, as most people, these days who are addicted to their phones, I check my phone and there's a message from a person who uh, basically said that they're leaving uh, this field, right? So a programmer who decided that, you know, this is the end. Technically, he did not mention uh, GPT-3. Um, also, his phrasing was that this field, the same as all other fields, uh, you know, they don't have any future. Now, I don't know, my, jump, my, my brain immediately jumped to the, you know, made the connection to the GPT-3. And so now I kind of have to make this video. So this person reached out to me three or four months ago about mentorship. And to be fair, uh, even back then, uh, he had uh, these thoughts of potentially leaving the industry. Again, had nothing to do with GPT-3. Maybe even right now it doesn't have anything to do with GPT-3 or, you know, advances in AI. But hey, all right. Now, I don't want to talk about this, like, you know, for three hours. So let me just get to the point. Um, we live in a world, we live in the age where you cannot work as our grandparents did. You're not just going to go to a company and be there for 50 years, do the same thing. And then you're going to, you know, receive your pension for the rest of your life. This is just not how the current world works. Uh, no matter which profession you are, whether it's a white collar profession or not, if you're a surgeon who studied years ago how to perform heart surgeries, until today, every day, this person, a surgeon, learns new tricks every day. There's advances all the time in every field. So yes, no industry is quote unquote safe. Everything changes. What lawyers do today is not what lawyers are going to do 20 years from now. What doctors do today is not going to be what doctors are going to do 20 years from now. The same thing for programmers. Should you be worried? Yes. Should you be afraid? No. Because what's going to happen is the same thing as it always happens, right? If all you know is how to center a freaking diff vertically, then yes, you should be worried. You should be really concerned. However, if you watch videos like mine and you constantly improve your skill, you'll be fine. Usually industries don't die, they just transform. Like back in the day, there were these women who would like plug cables for telephone companies to make a call. This job doesn't exist anymore. However, the industry still exists. You know, then we had telephones. Now we have voice over IP, right? So the professions change, the professions evolved. And so you constantly need to learn new things. So by the way, support your neighbor content creator for, you know, who's doing tech education. Not necessarily me. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically the whole point of this video. 
also about AI in general, everybody's concerned, you know, there's like two camps, right? Half of them say, oh, AI will never be able to do X, Y, Z. The others say, oh, it's already here. Well, it's neither. Like you and I, you know, we guys are developers. So as opposed to a bunch of normal people, we actually understand what exponential growth means. If something advances exponentially, it means that the time it gets to take, you know, the time it takes to get there is logarithmic, right? The first breakthrough takes 50 years, the next one 25, the next one 13, the next one 6, and we are somewhere along these lines. I cannot, you know, my crystal ball is as good as yours, but eventually, you know, right now, things like GitHub Copilot, I have a video about this, you might want to check out, things like Tab9, they can write entire small programs, small games. But most of it is, you know, things that have already been written. They just put them all together, write it for you. Eventually, they will be able to write larger programs. It will happen. So it's up to you whether you're going to be so valuable to companies that they're not going to want to fire you. You know, maybe, you know, as a programmer, maybe you should look into those fields if they interest you. Feels, feels like AI, feels like machine learning. Right now, me specifically, I'm not super curious about them but you're not me you have your own interests uh, i have never been a proponent of following um, things that just advance your career uh, you know trendy things right so everybody's talking about ai okay so i'm gonna learn about ai because just me personally i just know that if i lose my motivation if i lose my inspiration i'm just not going to be able to force myself to uh to work on that stuff but maybe maybe you're different maybe you can so yeah, again, this video is not scripted, so I don't know exactly what to say, but the point is you should be aware, you should concern yourself with these questions, but please do not be afraid. Invest in yourself, invest in your skills, and you'll be fine. I'm sure that I have forgotten to say millions of things. Maybe I'll leave a comment down below. Also, please, you, leave a couple of comments down below what you think about this. Again, usually I don't make videos about these trending topics, but I'm a bit annoyed that a lot of content creators are out there, uh, you know, they put the title in the video, oh, we're going to lose all of our jobs. I kind of understand this, you know, you need to have a clickable title, I'm a content creator myself, but, you know, it's not like all doom and gloom yet. Alright, I hope it helps, and have a nice day.